In previous versions of Filmora, adding or importing subtitles to your video was a pain and tedious process. It involved typing out the subtitles even if you had the SRT subtitle file. In the latest update of Filmora, that is Filmora 11.3.1.7, it's now possible to import or add SRT subtitle files to your videos. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. So, this is basically what you get with Filmora 11. This is the interface once you start it up and you can log in if you want to, but let's create a project, a new project, and then let, let it load up. So this is what it looks like, the same old Filmora. You can check it out from the link below. Now, for you to do this, you either have one or two of two things. You've either uh, ed finished editing up your video and then you have somebody else doing the subtitles or you've created subtitles using a, a transcription and captioning service like Rev. So let's add our video and subtitle. To do that, all you have to do is just highlight both and just drag and drop them into the project media section. Just click on that and they're both available inside this particular media section. Now, let's begin by dragging and dropping our video and there is our video. You can adjust this uh, to see the different things available here. For example, the audio waveform ATC. Our video is already on the timeline and you can just uh, see uh, what it looks like ATC. If you want to play it, you can. But let's add our subtitle. And with this option, I do have my thoughts that I'll give along the way because I believe Filmora can do a better job to, uh, for this particular subtitle. So. Let's just uh, drag and drop our subtitle here because it's already timed. Just drag and drop it there and it's available. Now, if I play the subtitle and my assumption is this is an isolated case, the first line of this particular subtitle will not play. If I play it. With the recent update on the YouTube interface, it's now easier than before to download. Now, the subtitle begins there. If I open up my subtitle here, just double click on it, you'll notice that there is the section for with the recent update on the YouTube interface, it's now easier. It begins at than before. So if I just move this slightly, it begins from the second caption or subtitle section than before to download YouTube transcripts. Now, I don't know if that's an isolated case, but uh, my assumption is it may or may not be an isolated case. Kindly let everything that's in, that's included in the SRT be available. That is number one. Number two, instead of having a whole block of text, because when you import the SRT in Filmora, it transforms into just a block of text that you cannot make edits to individual subtitles. Maybe you wanted these to be up here. You cannot do that. So if I want to make edits, to this particular subtitle. I'll just need to double click on this particular uh, text timeline here. Just click on it. Let's double click. And it's going to open up a dialog box for you to edit the subtitle file. So the first option is the subtitles and you'll see the time code. That is when the subtitle begins and ends and you can make any changes you want there. And then you'll see the text box. And this is for each individual subtitle. Now, Remember what I mentioned that we have just one block here? In the edit subtitle section, we have the different subtitles available the way they need to be. I hope this can be transferred to this particular timeline so that somebody can make edits for one particular subtitle without involving the whole block of subtitle. Now, from there, if you wanted to make any change, you just double click or just click inside the box where you need to make the changes, make your changes or whatever, etc. And then make any other custom changes that you may want. You may need to use a preset, click on preset and look at the different textiles available. So if I scroll down, you'll probably see the last style you used. So you can just keep scrolling and see uh, what you can get here. Let's say we go with this particular style. I'll just double click on it. And once I double click on it, it's going to be available. It seems to have like a gradient of sorts, making the subtitles look a little bit good 
and punchy ATC. Now, when you do this, this applies to all the subtitles available. It would be awesome if we can actually just make the uh, alterations to just one subtitle if we want to, uh, but hopefully this is something that the team at Filmora will work on. Now, you can also do any changes that you want to the font type, and uh, basically this is going to be universal for all the subtitles. Uh, my assumption is there's no need for having different subtitles with different fonts etc but it's also probably applicable depends on your use case scenario that would also be awesome so uh, let's assume that is all you wanted to do and then there's the option for custom now inside the custom you can do some subtitle animations you can add in a fade in and a fade out in that when you play your video uh, the subtitle fades in and fades out Depending on your use case scenario, this may be something that you may want to use. And then the input text alignment, uh, you can see the different alignment options. There is up, uh, top, uh, or whatever, etc. It would also, or down where they were. It would also be awesome if we had X and Y uh, 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 coordinates here, so that if I wanted to just change, and this uh, goes on to indicate, if I just wanted or to, to change the position of one subtitle. I wish that it would be possible to do that from the alignment with X and Y uh, coordinates etc. So you can do the different options here and for this, you see we have a gradient field. You can change that image field, text field etc. And then we have the effects, the opacity uh, etc. What I've noticed is that there's no option for background. It would be awesome to have a background and as I've mentioned, with the individual subtitles, you can turn off or on the subtitle for whatever subtitle section you're at. It would be really awesome. So if you're satisfied with the editing of the subtitles file, click OK. Now, the changes have been made and there is your subtitle available. That is your video and the SRT imported. And now if you're satisfied, you can actually burn in your subtitles to your video from here. So that is how you can add or import SRT subtitles to your video. To export the SRT subtitle, this particular SRT subtitle, all you need to do is just right click and then click on export subtitle file. Click on that. And what happens is that it exports into the Wondershare Filmora subtitle option. Now, it would be awesome if it gave you the option or uh, to select where you want it to be, but that's okay with me. If I just double click on it and it opens up inside uh, Notepad, you'll see that, as I mentioned, it cut out what is from uh, the original. This is the original. The original uh, has this, and if, it, if I put them side by side, you'll be able to notice that the original begins with a recent update. This one, because for some strange reason, maybe it's a bug, begins from than before to download YouTube transcripts. But those are my thoughts. And that's a fast look on how you can add or import SRT subtitles to your videos inside Filmora. Another subtitle option that can be imported inside Filmora is the lyrics or dot LRC subtitle in Filmora. So that's it from me. I hope this has been in depth. And at least uh, it's a good feature from Filmora. And finally, they honor the request I made a while back. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it's going to be of value to you. Until next time, stay safe and never stop learning.